Well, smoking gun or just smoking tape? Are Republicans itching to dismantle Obamacare? They may have found it. Did one of its chief architects give him even more ammo? Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto. And these comments just servicing by no less than Obamacare architect Jonathan Gruber at something called the Annual Health Economist Conference back last October. They're getting a lot of attention today. Here's why. Gruber saying, among other things, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure the CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies, okay? So it is written to do that. Then he adds, lack of transparency is a huge political advantage and basically call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical for the thing to pass. So what he is essentially saying here, as did Nancy Pelosi on this issue of we have to vote on it and then see what's in it, is he kind of knew what was in it, but had to keep it vague so that others wouldn't be onto it or the problems with it. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. If you want to say that women should not have to pay more than men for health insurance, then that means that everyone has to share the cost of maternity coverage. Now, if you don't think that's right, that's a total legitimate but position to take. But that was never telegraphed. And when, when all of this started, Jonathan, it, that's fine if you want to say that now. No, none of that was telegraphed. That was the fact that many people would lose their plans and many more would pay a lot more for plans. None of that, this, this utopian view that you would, you would do better by doing some good, maybe paying more, but in the net positive the country would benefit, uh, that, was never, that was never ever said. But the net positive is still true. You're the, well, it might be. I'm saying, I don't believe it is, by the way, but it might be. But what you've told people is, 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 is a lie. I'm not, not saying it was no, a deliberate no. lie, but they, 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 were, they were sold a bill of goods thinking that it wouldn't happen to them, and it has happened to them. So let me cut to the chase here. The, the selling point for this was that the end would justify the means. To the National Review's Jillian Melcher, on if comments like these heighten the case to scrap it. What do you think? Yeah, I think they definitely do. I mean, you've got one of the chief architects saying that this thing, if it's done transparently, is essentially politically toxic. And then you've got a real demonstration of just contempt for the voter. I mean, this guy is saying, we're not going to tell you what's in it because you might not like it. We know what's better for you than you do. I, I just, I find that staggering. It's awful. You know, the battle at the time with the mandating to, to, to cover everyone with, with, and, and tax it, that the taxes would handle this, that, that was a very slippery kind of a slope. But they wanted to keep it deliberately vague at the time so that, Obviously, people wouldn't get too nervous about that. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I mean, this is an administration that keeps claiming it's the most transparent in history. Yet I think here you see it really pulling the wool over the voters' eyes to accomplish a political goal. And I think now, um, you know, they're playing games with words. It's no surprise that the implementation of this law was pretty rocky. But I think that's going to be a real political problem. Well, you know, um, you're much smarter than I'm going to go to my friend Judge Napolitano, who's much smarter than me. But... This much I get. If it sounds too good to be true, Jillian, it, it generally is. If, it, if the argument was we're going to cover everybody, premiums are going to go down, you're going to be able to keep your doctor, uh, everything will be hunky-dory, um, that's like saying, you know, I, I can lose weight eating prime ribs. <laughs> Would if I could. So now we, we have serious questions about how this left the gate mm -hmm. with apparently some lies or at least some half-truths. Does that build the momentum in, in your mind for these repeal efforts that once seemed astronomical. In other words, could Republicans, do you think, cobble together enough disenchanted Democrats, if not nervous Democrats, mm -hmm. to topple it? Well, there's no doubt that this is pretty politically controversial at this point. And I think what this guy has done is really give opponents of Obamacare a fantastic talking point. I mean, he, you couldn't ask for a better talking point for repealing at least part of it. But by the same token, I mean, this has been plagued by scandals from the get-go. Obamacare is kind of its crowning achievement. So even if they were able to cobble together some bipartisan repeal, at least in part, I think the Obama administration is going to fight them tooth and nail. And I think this just demonstrates they're willing to play dirty. Well, you know what's really explosive to these comments? And we've had Jonathan here many times. He's supposed to be on today. Mm -hmm. He passed. But he said, if CBL scored the mandated taxes, the bill dies. Okay. So it's written to do that in terms of risk-related subsidies. If you had a law which said that healthy people are going to pay in, you made explicit healthy people pay in and sick people get money. It would not have passed. But that was, in fact, 
the part art on which this whole thing was built. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. And I think the willingness of this administration to pass it in a deceptive way to play tricks with the American economy with voters and then to laugh at them behind their back as they're being deceptive, it's, it's just shameful. And I, I really think it reflects poorly on the administration. Um, it's sort of like they said, the idiots bought it. The idiots <laughs> bought it. Um, all right, Jillian, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Now on to another prediction I'm going to make. Uh, this one I don't think is a leap. Finding this video of uh, the Obamacare architect's remarks saying all of these things, I think it's going to be very difficult. Shall we say more difficult than the media pouncing on a certain Mitt Romney video when he said that 47% uh, pay no taxes. Now, they couldn't play that particular video enough. In fact, they did so in loops. Even though no one really dismissed the accuracy of Romney's remarks, that they were inelegant, as he told me himself, that nearly half the people in this country really were not, are not paying federal income taxes. No matter. With Mitt, they had a fit. On Obamacare, hardly a care. Does that sound fair and balanced to you? Well, it doesn't to Judge Andrew Napolitano either. I think it's going to be tough to